Hi, it's Nell. It's Saturday afternoon. I have a planting project to do and I thought I would share it with you. Uh, this pot here has been empty for about a month and a half. The Dracaena marginata was in there, directly planted, but I took it out. The mojito mint was here. I put it over in the shade. And now it's time to fill this pot because I'm tired of looking at a pot half full of dirt. I'm like, hmm, time to get going on it. So I'm going to take something out of each of these containers. What I'm trying to do is consolidate all these smaller containers here in the desert so I don't have so much to water and put them into here. And it's mainly what the um, sort of the star of the show is this larger golden barrel cactus. So join me when I plant this mixed cactus pot. So first of all, I'm going to get a little more soil in here. Um, about a third of the way up is potting soil from the Dracaena marginata that I just worked into there. Uh, then on top of that is Kellogg's cactus and succulent mix. And then in the meantime, I found a local cactus and succulent mix, which I like. So I would rather use that, 100% organic and natural. It's got pumice, Pro Cocoa Organic Compost Quad Chips, and organic compost. So sounds good. So I'm going to get a little more mix in and then I'm going to get going on the plants. I'm going to get the golden barrel cactus in. The, the large one, there's a small one too, and the large one in first because it's the star of the show. So I want to get it in. And um, this is the one that I found on the streets of Santa Barbara when I lived there with no pot. It was just in, in, in the sidewalk strip. So I brought it home and I put it in my garden with no pot because I knew I was eventually moving and it just sat there and... Then it's been in here, in with my mixed uh, succulents here, and uh, it's time that it has a nice home to grow into. Okay, so the golden barrel cactus is loosened, and I wanted to get some bubble wrap to get it out, just like this. Oh, oh gosh, it's so heavy. And it's not even that big. I can't imagine how much those big barrel cacti weigh. Fortunately, a lot of the spines go down, and this one doesn't have all the fine, fine spines on it, so I might have to raise it a little bit, but that is where it is going to go. So I'm going to get some more mix around that because this has the largest root ball, too. It's a little hard to work with because it has a small root ball, and it weighs a lot, so it just wants to flop, so I have it sort of propped up with the trowel while I'm uh, while I'm wedging some mix in there to hopefully hold it up. There we go. Okay, I think it's gonna stay up on its own now. Um, everything else has a smaller root ball, so I'm gonna go ahead and put in about probably four more inches of the mix. Oh, by the way, the fleshy succulents in this pot did just fine. The odds and ends that are still left in here, um, they uh, came through the winter just fine. So I think I'm going to keep them over in that sort of shady spot over uh, on the side of my house and probably plant them obviously in a bigger planter. But I'm going to get them out of the way now. And by the way, I do not want to put them in this pot because uh, this is a pretty sunny spot. It gets sun for at least six to seven hours a day. And these fleshy succulents would fry here in the desert, so they need to get some shade. These are all wedged in here, so I think I'm just gonna dump and see if I can get, oh yeah, okay. Because the soil is way down in the, so the cacti are growing down inside the pot, so they'll be, They'll be happy to be freed. Uh, let's see. And these I'm going to separate. There we go. We just have to 
poke around at it. The barrel cactus has the bigger root ball, which makes sense. It has to hold this heavy cactus up. So I've got those. And then I'm going to also put in this, which I don't know what it is, except that it's about to flower, that my neighbor gave me. It sort of reminds me of something out of, um, what was that movie? Not E.T. The other one that had the aliens as a spaceship to it. So uh, I'm going to arrange these. Let me get this off of here. I'm going to arrange these uh, and then start planting. So this is how it's turning out so far. Now, cactus aren't that user-friendly to work with. It's a little... <laughs> A little bit like a risking your, uh, your, I wouldn't say risking your life, you're risking your hands. But I planted these two close together because I don't want this too close out to the walkway. And I like the barrel, the barrel cactus when they're in groupings. This one, I know, gets a little taller. I've got to find out what this is. It's a, it's a cool one. And it also spreads. I'm going to take um, this apart because I am going to leave this one um in this pot this cactus by itself i'm going to take that one out and put it in the back which should be interesting it has spines and then <laughs> the big old spines and then i'm going to raise this up because the soil is about and this is the lovely little cactus bowl that sits on my um table off of my kitchen patio and i'm going to take this bunny ear out here because it is um growing a little bit as you can see all the new growth on it beautiful so I'm gonna take that one out and I'm gonna put it in the pot too because cactus don't mind being crowded and they have tons of room to grow down even though they spread out more so they'll be just fine all crowded in there and here is the cute little bunny ear cactus that I'm gonna put right here to uh, Hang over the side because I kind of go here, there, it, it already has a, a nice little flop to it and this will just go up so it'll add a little interest right there. All right, these two came out of the pot really easily too. And you can see how um, much new growth there is on this one that was just kind of down below. So it will be happy to have more, more growing mix and... Uh, more room to grow. Got the pasta tongs. Very helpful when you're planting smaller cacti. A barrel, oh, I might have been able to use that. But uh, this just makes it a little, little bit easier, actually. So, let me do the other way. <laughs> and then I can just kind of pat the mix down in here and rearrange things. Oh, come on, baby. Come on. one has really long spines. That's why it's in the very back. Ugh. There we go. go right there. Oh, time for some more mix. But it is coming along and I, uh, I seem to have survived so far. <laughs> Put in about a quarter of an inch of compost because there's already compost in there. And now I'm just sprinkling in some of my worm castings. My, my worm compost. Well, you know, it's not my worm compost, but it's worm compost I, I bought. <laughs> just for the little extra oomph. There we go. Now I'm just going to top it top it with the mix and let it all settle in. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to let this settle in for about a week before I water it, at least a week. And then um, I'll give it a good thorough watering. And with the weight of the cactus, it, they might sink a little bit and the mix might sink a, sink a little bit. So I might need to add a little bit more of that. But we'll see. And then as the finishing touch, um, when it settles in after a couple of weeks I'm going to um, adorn it with a few minerals that I got at the Tucson 
mineral and gem show just for something interesting or I also have driftwood that I bought from Santa Barbara so uh, maybe I'll do a mix of the two all right so here it is from above and the great thing about this pot is that nothing cost me anything except for the soil mix because the pot was left by the previous owner as were a few of the cacti I found that barrel cacti and then my neighbor Mary gave me that one in the back so everything uh, put to good use and I'm really happy because instead of a lot of small pots I have one bigger pot much easier to water it's a great mix too so it's, it's gonna make that nicer and uh, it just is great in this very sunny and warm spot here. It's flowering. How beautiful. They don't last very long, so you have to enjoy them while they're out. And even though this is a spiny little cactus, it has beautiful flowers and it has quite a few more a few more coming on it so this has been a nice surprise it's a couple months later and the flowering has stopped there hasn't been a lot of growth but cactus grow really really slowly so that's fine but it, it is looking good and you can see the minerals in there they just add a little bit of color and they also add a little bit of shine when the Sun hits them oh and by the way there is a blog post to go along with this video the link will be down below or you can also go to joyousgarden.com. I hope you have found this video about planting and working with cacti to be helpful. It's not hard, you just have to be careful. And I really like them. I think they're interesting and they're so suited to our hot, dry climate here. So I thank you for all your likes and your subscribes. I really appreciate them. Now let's get out in the garden and make the world a more beautiful place. I have a lot more videos coming your way, so be sure and come back. And as always, I thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.